this is the most widely used map in the world. But it suffers from a major defect. Ever wondered why Greenland looks almost as big as Africa, even though the continent at 30 million square kilometers is 14 times larger than the icy peninsula? Or that Sweden, which looks almost as big as India, is actually quite small in comparison? It all has to do with the 16th century German Flemish cartographer Gerardus Mercator. The maps found today in classrooms all over the world and used by companies like Google, Apple, Yahoo and Microsoft are all based on Mercator's magnum opus, which came out in 1569 AD. Capturing a spherical Earth with its longitudes and latitudes onto a two-dimensional map would often result in a gigantic cartographic mess. Especially for sailors who use them for navigation, as they would have to constantly course correct their positions because of the difference in angles over distance. Mercator devised a solution by projecting the Earth on a cylindrical surface, expanding the longitudes as they approached the poles. While this proved to be a boon for sailors, who could now travel in a straight line, it also expanded the areas near the poles on the map. Within a hundred years, the Mercator projection became the most widely used map in the world greatly accelerating the age of discovery and colonial expansion. Today, many argue that Mercator's distortion, inadvertently or otherwise, projects a Eurocentric view of the world, leading to a perception that the countries and continents closer to the equator are small, therefore insignificant. Alternative projections like the Robinson's or Goldspeter projection conserve the size but distort the shape. In March 2017, public schools in Boston in the US switched to the Goldspeter projection. For all its flaws, however, the Mercator projection is still indispensable for digital maps like Google and Apple as it preserves the angles and turns required for navigation at the local level.